What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Xavier here with a brand new video and ladies and gentlemen, we are in Demon Cell Simulator. There's a massive update. They added Tengen, a bunch of nerfs, a bunch of buffs, and we're going to be going through absolutely everything in today's video. So first off, you're going to want to put in this code into the codes. This is going to get you a whopping 10 Tengen fragments once you redeem that. So you're going to have a whole 10 out of 30, which is massive. And in today's video, we're going to be going through the entire update and everything like that. So first off, they added Blood Moon. All enemies in this mode are greatly strengthened with higher health and levels and drop generous rewards. You need to be at least 150 in order to unlock this. So it's kind of hard to unlock. They also added a limited time friend double soul drop. So basically if you have friends, you're gonna get double souls for um, all of that good stuff. I also think that they did a massive nerf. I think that all of these guys, have way less HP. I think that the HP has gone way, way down. And it's kind of like, wow, I didn't think they'd do that big of a nerf. But for the hype part of this video, we are going to be opening a ton of chests. I have a mountain of chests that we're gonna be opening in order to get Tengen. Before I do that, I just wanted to show you guys, they also made the um, leveling up cheaper. I guess it's to make, so they kind of have just made the game a little bit um, easier to progress since the level cap is higher since you have to be level 150 to even enter blood moon which is over there which I'm trying to there we go and they also made Muzan uh, Muzan used to be 2.3 million HP he used to be 2.3 million HP and now he's uh, significantly weaker but with that being said let's go ahead and try to get uh, 10 again so first I'm gonna just open 10 let's just open 10 real quick Okay, so off the rip, I can see my lucky game pass is definitely getting into play here. We just got a ton of that from that. So um, I just wanted to open a little bit. You're not supposed to open, uh, open them in mythical order. You're supposed to open them from the bottom tier to legendary. And then from legendary, you will start uh, opening the remaining, the ones at the top. So... Let's go ahead and redeem these. And the main reason why I got so many crates is because luck was actually bugged, not giving you extra stuff like it was supposed to. And so basically what they did is they compensated you with a percentage of the chest that you opened. So let's see what we get in these legendaries. Okay, so one Akaza, it's not too good to be honest. I think, yeah, we're just gonna go with straight mythicals. We're gonna go with straight mythicals here. The good thing about this is we're definitely going to be able to level up our characters as well or rank them up, which is going to give them a good bit of bonus damage as well. Yeah, we're getting a ton here. We're getting a ton. And these domas is just insane. So you're actually going to want to just it's fine to open these first as long as you have at least. Um. You don't only want to open them if you have 10. And then we'll go with the legendaries. So then we're going to open up the legendaries. So I'm wondering, so what we just get, okay, there was two mythics that time. Dang. Okay, so first off, let's go ahead and just check really quickly. Okay, so we have enough for a 10 yen. Boom. So unlock him. Dang. We actually got 10 yen. Wow. Okay still just a little bit shocked me except the realization so let's check out our Giyu so we could rank him up to Hashra number eight which increases damage by 7,000 that's pretty good then we're gonna be able to rank up Doma which increased his damage by 10,000 that's insane and we could actually rank him up again which is gonna bring him all the way to 78,000 damage we can also rank up Rengoku to Hashra number eight which is increased him by a few thousand and that is just a massive boost already. So we only need 10 to unlock Uzui further. So what we can actually do is head back to the chest and continue to open these. So we're gonna go ahead and open these up and uh, we're probably gonna need some sort of auto clicker or something to open this one up. Did I uh, upgrade the Akaza, right? Or we don't even, do we even use Akaza? I'm not sure but let's go ahead and uh 
get the rest of these guys. Two Domas in there. Two Tengens. I think that's a Tengen upgrade. Another two Tengen. Three, four Tengens. Yo. We are getting a ton of good stuff in these normal legendary ones. Four Giyus. Another two Giyus. Okay, so we're going to have to check this out again. So yeah, we could upgrade him again, I believe. We could upgrade our Akaza, which is going to make him a lower rank three. And then we could do that again to lower rank two. And then we can't upgrade any of these guys yet. But they already, they these guys are some heavy hitters. And he's starting to catch up to Goku. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the prayer platform and uh, start leveling up our Doma here. Let's put that on auto. Boom. 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 Let's see how powerful Tengen Uzui truly is. Already at level 80. Moving up. I kind of want to get, so now I kind of want to get to level 150. But I'm not really sure. I think I'm going to grind up to about maybe a billion or so uh, souls. I think at a billion or so souls, we should be able to like safely be like, okay, let's get to level 150. I'm interested to see his stats, man. I, I'm wondering to see his stats, what he's going to be about, what the upgrades are. I'm a little bit nervous. All right, coming up on level 80 or 98. About to get 100. Hmm. Level 100, Tengen. It's still going to level him up. I think it's going to level him up to about 102 or so. Man, it's getting expensive up here. Alright, so now everybody's getting ranked up. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and stop that. Let's see how strong he is. Boom. Okay. Uh, 9,000. Now we got to understand he's not ranked up. Let's go to, uh, let's go to this. Okay. Energy edition. Whoa. Critical chance. Critical damage. Attack speed. What? Wait, that's that's broken. Yo, Michael, that's broken. Michael, what? So I'm assuming he has to be on my assist in order to. I will. We'll take off Doma, I guess. What? That's insane. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and grind him up. And uh, we'll we'll see about max level. This is personally my favorite farming spot right here. But it's a little bit different now because these guys are nerfed. These guys are nerfed. But that's going to conclude this update. Let me know in the comments below if we should try out Blood Moon. And... Um, we could definitely do that for the next video if you guys want. Uh, wow, that's insane. All right, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And like I said, uh, let me know in the comments, should we try out Blood Moon? The, uh, we could get to level 150, especially with a few overnight grinds of uh, get a lot of blue, uh, get a lot of blue souls.
Let me know what you guys think. Love you guys. Peace.